Welcome to Metal Vani Vitek here with one and only Chris of Hate Breed. How are you doing, brother? I am doing great. Having a little uh, vacation here before we go back on the road. Before the storm begins with Devil yes. Driver. You guys must be super stoked because, you know, the new album, Concrete Confessional, will be out in just a couple of days. There's three more days left. The name itself implies that here it's about people in power that need to held accountable and made to confess, so to speak. So, am I... yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, along the lines that we were thinking. Okay, and and you had a couple of tracks out. You had a music video out as well, which is more like a medieval anthem. So, how's it been so far from fans responding to it? Oh, um, it's actually been really good, man. We we uh we just did the Impericon Festival. In uh in Europe over there and um in the UK and we played A D and looking down a barrel and uh it they both went over really good. People were actually singing the words already and stuff like that, so it's uh it's catching on quick. It's good to hear and and you know what's so good about the hate breed sound is that you guys haven't changed it over the years, you know, to make it different or follow any trends. It's that same brutal metallic hardcore as always. But with that being said, do you think there's a lot of diversity on this album? Yeah, I mean, it's not that we tried new things, but uh, like they kind of just organically took shape. You know what I mean? And yeah. and like there's a little bit more like soloing, like a like a different kinds of like playing styles. But I think the the main elements are are still there, there right. and nothing has really changed as far as you know what we've been doing the formula for the past 20 something years absolutely and even after 20 years i also heard a lot of trash elements on the album i mean the first track which came out ad and i heard people saying i mean I, even before i even heard the album the single came out and i wow. knew there's a lot of trash elements and so it looks like you know from from last couple of years you guys have been slightly influenced by thrash metal bands yeah, I mean, we always have been. Everybody's been listening to Thrash. We, you know, we're like, we're older dudes, and and we grew up like listening to all that and all the Bay Area Thrash and Testament, Exodus. You know, it's just always something we've all been into. And and uh, I mean, yeah, it, it comes through every once in a while, and uh, we we enjoy it. We we love the the fast pace and, and the energy, you know. Awesome, man. And, and of course, most bands in the metal scene seem to slow down and get more technical after many years of you know, writing songs that they aren't young or angry anymore. Yet, your music still has that fire in it after over two decades. I'm mean, just wondering, how do you still stay angry and apply all that to your music even after so many years? We're pissed. <laughs> We're just always pissed. <laughs> That's, I don't know, there's, like, there's plenty of stuff to write about and... I don't know. For us, it's like that's the, the only way. Like we are able to let it all out. You know what I mean? Like we play those songs on stage, and and you know the the fast stuff, and and the just the aggression we have. It's 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 really a release for us. You know what I mean? I think if it was any other style, or you know, just like slow down, blah blah, it it, it wouldn't feel the same. It wouldn't come across live. So it's it's. It's just what what we are what we create, and mm -hmm. you know, it's at the end of the day, it, we feel really accomplished doing it like that. Absolutely, man, and and the new music video we just said has has clearly reflects how metal has been a driving force for people who face a lot of issues in life, and it's again one of the most important factors as a source of inspiration to fight and continue. And I see Hate Breed capturing a lot of it on this new album. Yeah, I mean it's, I mean like I said, it's, it's what we're all about, and I mean there's 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 so many things going on in the world right now that are like, you know, I mean well not now, I mean have been actually for a while, and mm -hmm. you know and and people need that to the music to take them away from you know the craziness, you know what I mean? Because right. I think everybody gets so wrapped up in, you know, like. I don't know who's got their nicer car, blah blah, or, or their jobs, and you know what I mean. Like they, they need to step back and really enjoy, like uh, enjoy their themselves. Number one, and you know, like they need a release, and right. you know, and we're we're really lucky people will find that in our music. It's like it's really cool. It's it's more inspiring for us. You know what I mean? You keep going. So yeah, I mean, we appreciate every single person that you know is devoted to us and. 
we don't ever want to let him down. Absolutely, man. And Zoo is now becoming almost the sixth member of the band. I mean, he's been part of you for a long time now. And I see uh, him on this album trying to push you even more. So for you guys personally, you know, uh, what, you know, was there anything new he brought into the table this time? Um, He has good ideas. Like, like for me personally, like, like for some, some parts, I lay down a bass line or whatever. I have a couple different, like, variations the way I want it to go and, and it's cool to be able to talk to him. And I'll be like, I have this idea. What do you think about it? And and he'll throw something off me. And I'll be like, well, you know, we kind of do what fits the song the best. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's not like about, like, I can play this many notes in this many seconds or blah, blah, blah. You know, and it's we're actually able to make a good song and make it sound good and complement the song. And, and he's just easy to work with. I mean, we knew him before we were actually in, you know, recording with him in the studio right you know, so he's a good friend and you know he's, he's a great dude and and uh actually it, it makes the recording process and everything really really like easy for us now you know that you have someone you can bounce stuff off of absolutely man. it's good to hear and also the new album is, is coming out in the middle of you know what is no doubt the strangest presidential race in the recent american history so you know is there any influence from those you know current events on this album seeing what's happening in america with all the racism and stuff with donald trump etc no not really i mean that was all the, these songs weren't really influenced by any of that stuff you know it's like mm-hmm. with these songs were the, the like people have been saying that about like like ad and whatnot but it's like the stuff was going on for years you know i mean like there's there's inequality across the board True. in America and in, in every part of the world. You know what I mean? There's, there's all kinds of, of these things that have been going on and, you know, like college kids can't get jobs and, and, and there's just, there's just tons of things that just seem like they're lopsided. And, and it seems like instead of humans actually caring about each other, it's, mm-hmm. it's like trying to drain everyone. You know what I mean? And like, you know, it's, I mean, it's, I think it's just a, a compilation of things that have been going on for years, but I mean, it just happened to fall around like this time. You know what I mean? Right, right. I get that. And also, you know, the 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 music fans, you know, identify hardcore punk with with cities like New York. I mean, you know, which have had their famous punk scenes, you know, in places like GBCBs, etc. So, what's your scene like in the Connecticut, in the New England, when you guys just were just starting out? Oh, when we were first starting out, it was like there was hardcore all the time we were going to shows i mean we actually all know each other from going to, to hardcore shows in mm-hmm. connecticut you know there were shows every weekend and everybody knew each other and and you know it was like it was like really close-knit and and kind of like like you know been on the road like for the past you know consistently i'd say like 16 17 years. years so it's mm-hmm. like i mean that's almost like a kid's lifetime you know what i mean <laughs> so they've they, They've definitely come and gone, and like, and I mean, there's still like the remnants of the scene. Right. I can't say I'm as involved in it as I was because it's very hard to be away and like to be like in it. Oh, man. But I mean, we've influenced bands, and and there's actually there's really good bands that come from you know the whole tri-state area, and right. I mean it's it's still alive, it's still out there. It's not like it ever went away. You know what I mean? And Absolutely. Um, cool, man. I hope that another one pops out. Of it. Something like hate breed in future. I don't know something something cool. I, you know, it doesn't have to sound like us. You know what I mean? But it, yeah. it's it's always good to to have so, you know someone else pop up and true, you know true. that's cool. It, it represents your uh, your state. Indeed, indeed, absolutely right. And you and Jamie are you know the backbone of the band. You've been there from the beginning. You've seen lineup change. You've seen the music trends. You know changing industry changing. But you guys have stuck together. And now with Frank, it's been a great lineup. Over the period of time, how do you feel the Hatebreed sound has evolved with even the change in the guitarists? Um. Well, yeah. Like I said, like the formula is still the same. It's just we have like different players. Um. I mean, Matt, our drummer Matt's been in the band. For I want I want to say 16 years yeah. now, which is 15. which is a pretty long time. And um, and Wayne was with us in the beginning, and he he just came back, you know, like six years ago. Yeah. So it's uh, I, I mean I, we've been playing with the same group of dudes for a very long time, mm-hmm. you know, like like longer than most people have relationships and stuff. <laughs> so it's, yeah, um, 
I, it's great to have all the different influences, you know, like like Frank's been in so many other bands, like Integrity, Ringworm, like which actually we grew up into, you know what I mean? And and Wayne has his own like style, like he's influenced, you know, like like by Randy Rhodes and, and, right. and bands like that. He's he's really tech. He's like super super technical about everything, and like so that's definitely helped. Like we're able to throw solos. And, Down on and, this and, album. and right. things like that, and, and uh, you know what I mean. And, and and he has really great ideas, so it's it, it's just it flows really good now. You know, like the, like everyone is on their A game at mm-hmm. uh, like all points. You know, like like there's never I don't know. We don't ever really come to a point where we're like ah, uh, just you know, it's everyone's got a good idea at some point, awesome, and, and we roll with it, and we and we thrive off of each other's strengths you know what i mean absolutely man it's a really good day and now the tour coming up with devil driver and you have i think act of defiance joining for some dates and devil you know joining for some dates so it's a killer package and and how many tracks are you planning to play on this tour because on your impericon i think you just played two songs from the new album yeah i mean we're gonna probably try and up it to maybe like uh three or four total Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. depending on uh you know what what uh transpires here like, when we shot another video um before we left so depending on when that drops or whatever and plus yeah. we'll listen to the fans too you know if if we got fans saying I'll play this song we've been so fortunate where people like our old stuff mm-hmm. and they like our new stuff too so it's well there's no we'll love we'll throw it out there we don't care we love, we love doing it we wrote it we made it and and if they want to hear it we'll put it out there absolutely man good to hear that and you know on this tour as well you know it's going to be an extended one and i believe there might be another european tour uh, later this year or maybe early next year but i wonder have you guys ever received any offer from india Chris, I, I'm not sure. I, I, I think if we did, it might have been not able to work. But I, I don't ever remember hearing anything. We've heard, uh, I think Lamb of God had, had gone to India. Yes, right? two uh, times. If I can remember, I think they went there. Yeah, and, two times. Yeah, yeah, and they, they kind of told us about it. And, you know, yes, yeah, so, I mean, we're definitely open to it. We just It just has to work logistically, you know. Absolutely. So if you know anybody, let them know. We don't <laughs> care. We'll, we'll play anywhere. We love that. Indeed, man. Thanks a lot for having a chat. Before we conclude, how about you define the concrete confessional sound in just one sentence? Blistering. Blistering. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, I had a great chat with you. Good luck on tour. I'll definitely catch you on, on one of the tours, definitely at Baltimore on June 2nd. So have a great tour. Sounds and great. Of course, you know, we'll, I'll catch you there. Cool, man. Thanks for the interview. I'll talk to you soon. Indeed. Bye-bye. Bye.